Fame. So we're going to be checking out the OnePlus 11 that had just dropped recently uh, for $6.99. Now, they're, it, uh, they usually drop two phones at the same time. This is one of the rare times where they don't. They only drop... Uh, just the OnePlus 11 usually they dropped like a OnePlus 11 Pro like they did last year. I don't know if they're going to be doing a Pro or they're just doing going to be doing a T model this year. Um, that's going to be interesting to to check out. Um, so these are some of the specs that I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys regarding. And why I think this is honestly the best uh, budget phone to, coming out probably this year. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, this and the... Well, last year was the Pixel 7, so I, I don't want to include last year phones. I want to include just this year's phones and what I believe is going to be the best, probably the best budget phone of the year. So we're talking about up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. L, it's DDR5, which is extremely fast. They didn't even need to put that much. They could have just put DDR4 and been fine. But they did 5X, which is extremely fast. They put the Snapdragon Gen 2, which everybody knows works super great and was mu and is much better than the Gen 1. Uh, they went back to the Hasselblad uh, camera modules, which if you notice in the, in the 10 series, they didn't have it at all, which was pretty interesting. I'm glad they went back to it. It was It's good to see. They do have the 120 hertz refresh rate on a 2K screen, uh, fluid amulet. Um, so you see it's an OLED panel with Dolby Vision. Um, and you also have Adobe Atmos. You have 5,000 milliamp hour batteries, over 80 watt supercharge. Um, so you can see here some of the competitors and specs, but we're not going to get into these. We're just going to look at the OnePlus side. So you, it starts at 699, and that's with eight gigabytes of RAM, 5,000 milliamp battery, 50 megapixel main camera, 40 megapixel ultra wide, and a 32 uh, two times optical zoom with a 16 megapixel front camera, along with a 6.7 inch display. Like I mentioned earlier, 120 hertz refresh rate with Dolby Vision, um, HDR10 support, stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. Also supports an insane Wi-Fi 7 support, which no phone has come out this year that has come out supports Wi-Fi 7. They're all 6E or 6, not 7. So 7 is really new like let's say like extra, like the most new as you can get so if i'm gonna even put that in there so great specs obviously all around um rate tracing enabled you can see the better speeds over the previous model which was the snapdragon snapdragon 8 gen 1 which was in the 10 pro um so you can see here the more efficiencies how much faster it is uh ufs 4 speeds which is better read and writes 100 percent 103 percent i don't know what they're i think they're just basing it off of last year's phone and if this and if they are then these are more than likely 100 percent true like i said it offers you eight is standard gigabytes of ram uh 16 you're able to upgrade to so you're able to with the 80 watt charging you're able to charge your phone from one to 100 percent in 27 minutes that is phenomenal um i don't know very many ones that you're gonna be able to do that with but hey me you know you never know um it is not usb c at the end it is still a usb a brick at the back uh oh yeah vapor chambered coolings uh which means it's gonna cool the chip very well let's go the HDR, so the cameras are are amazing this year for the price. Now, we're, like I said, we're talking about five ninety nine. There's not very many phones that are five ninety nine, um, and they have this good specs and this good camera. It's not one of the best. It's definitely not a top three or top four camera quality. It's definitely more in the top ten category, um, which which the rest of their specs are more in line with the top five. Um, but they also have the cut cost somewhere. So you know that's going to be in the camera section more than likely and probably the build quality than it is anything else. They did bring back the alert slider, which is awesome to see. Um, OnePlus has been going through a transformation where the 9 and the 10 really weren't that good and really um, saw them take a really big hit in sales. They honestly weren't doing well when they merged um, and have ColorOS like they do now. With, um, it just really wasn't good. When OnePlus was bought initially, the 9 and the 10 were absolute horrible phones, to my, in my opinion. I think the last good one to me was really the 8. 
And then now they're bringing it back with the 11. I'm not going to say they're all the way back. There's still time. There's still some stuff that they still need to work out software-wise. But once that gets all the way through, I will announce that they are back. And you will 100% see me do another video on OnePlus. I've never done one. This is my first one because when I started my YouTube channel, I wasn't really talking about OnePlus. And then I liked them. And then I started hating them immediately. Once they got uh, bought with the 9 and the 10, I just really didn't. Wasn't really too interested in them. This uh, Oxygen OS, as you guys can see here, uh, they did they do have the new OnePlus 2 Pro Buds. Um, so if you are interested in a OnePlus phone with the OnePlus Buds, as you see, these are some options for you here. We're gonna go through the buyer's guide on it. So there's only two colors this year. So if you're interested in colors, this is probably not the phone for you. They like I said. There's only, they're only offering two. Oh, okay. So it's 12% off right now. So you could get the same phone as the eight with the 16 gigabytes and 256 storage right now. That's what they're offering right now. So if you are interested in it, I would 100% think about it. Um, the eight gigabyte, you only have, you have, you only have one color if I remember right. The gigabyte, which is the black model, the Titan Black. You have to go up to the 16 gigabyte model to, to choose either one, which is the Eternal Green or the Black. I would choose Titan Black, I'm not a big fan of green. You can check the carriers here ATT, T Mobile, Verizon, the main big three. I don't have none of those three, so that's why I'm not able to actually buy this one for myself too much, really. Um, I have Spectrum Mobile, so that's another reason why but as you guys can see what's in the box you do still get a charger cable and the brick not very many companies do that i can tell you that much it is absolutely gorgeous phone here and you can see it in the front and the back you can see that the little cutout camera hole is back to the left side which i love um it wasn't it was like that in the nine which i do want to mention that was a good part of the nine. They did keep certain design elements the same. Um, just the it was starting to change under the hood, which is why I was not too interested in it. And then the 10 was just a complete flop for me. But for 699, 16 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes of storage, a top 10-ish camera, awesome display, awesome uh, Snapdragon Gen 2, amazing charging speeds. No wireless charging still on a OnePlus. We're still hoping that OnePlus eventually will give us uh, wireless charging. Uh, what else could I say? I mean, just phenomenal specs all around. 5,000 milliampere battery. Um, I mean, excellent cooling of the chip. So you know it's not going to overheat on you or it's not going to overdo it on you. I would honestly say this is probably the number one phone that you want to buy if you're looking for something under seven hundred dollars this is it i mean well this is 699 but this is as low as this is going to get um for a great spec phone so make sure to like subscribe hit the notification bell and honestly go ahead and check it out if you can if you can go to a t-mobile if you can go to at&t or verizon and they have it um ask just to check it out to look at it play with it a little bit and see if that is the phone for you I honestly say I would I recommend it for anybody that's looking for a budget phone and I honestly recommend it through the website right now because of that deal uh, if you can get the same phone as the 8 gigabyte model 8 gigabyte RAM and 128 gigabyte storage for the same price for the 16 and 256 which is a great upgrade and you can choose either one of the colors where in the 8 gigabyte you can only choose one color which is just the black but that is my personal spec anyways which would be the black so make sure to like subscribe hit the notification bell um, we're going to be doing more phones as they come out. Um, this is just one of the phones that I wanted to go ahead and highlight for you guys. So this is a buyer's guide on the OnePlus 11 5G. Make sure to check it out. They will be putting out a T version of this. So I'm interested to see how that goes and seeing if they're also going to put out a pro this year. Um, so this is just the first phone that they're launching. We're going to see if they're going to do any more. They are going to be doing a tablet as well, but more information on that comes out later in the year when the T comes out as well. So. Like, subscribe, hit notification bell. See you guys in the next one. Peace.
Thank you guys for watching my latest video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.